Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Chaudhary. I hope you guys can see me. There you go. Wow, it's a sunny day. It's a beautiful day. I'm actually here at Stop and Shop because I, uh, I decided I needed some sushi today. <laughs> uh, it's my way of celebrating uh, with the news that came out this morning. I think this is the beginning of uh, the way back for us. And I do think that uh, I do think that we'll get back to normal. I did do another video earlier where I talked about why 2021 will be a much, much better year for us. And I do believe that uh, A, I did say this in the other video that A, we'll see a vaccine, B, uh, we're going to see stimulus and C, we're going to see the economy gradually improving. Uh, it is the first step in a long way back. Keep in mind, it is going to take some time, but I can tell you this right now, that uh, as we try and get back to normal, uh, a lot of us will have to make adjustments. A lot of us may have to re-engineer our skills, maybe start new businesses, and I will help you get there as much as I can. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda. Today is an, indeed an important day because an American company, Pfizer, did uh, announce that they have an effective vaccine. So this is indeed a very big day for us. And I do want us to take a deep breath and uh, start to take the first step in what is essentially uh, a long, long way back. And I do believe we will get back. Uh, my goal on the channel is to be able to give you honest news, to give you the truth. I do believe that this vaccine has uh, political implications as well. And uh, I do believe that, uh, you know, <clears throat> there's a lot of talk about President Trump uh, conceding. And whether he concedes or not is, you know, is, is something we don't know. Um, and Jared Kushner talked to the president about conceding. Uh, there were some reports that um, First Lady Melania Trump talked to the president about conceding. We'll find out what happens, but uh, the president could potentially claim this as a political victory. And, uh, you know, this could have uh, political implications as well. But where things stand right now is that as far as stimulus is concerned, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is going to be the one who's going to be taking uh, the lead, if you will, uh, with the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. And he uh, is fiscally very conservative. So I think that what we can anticipate what we can very clearly anticipate is that there will be a smaller, there will be a smaller package. It's not going to be a big package. It's going to be a small package. It's not going to be a $1.8 trillion package, 1.9, no chance, no chance. It's going to be a smaller, leaner package. And, and this is important, as the economy uh, starts to improve gradually, I want to be clear that individuals in travel, leisure, entertainment, hospitality are still going to be left behind. And as the economy starts to improve gradually, uh, we're going to start to see a stronger case <clears throat> from Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell basically saying, nah, we don't need large stimulus. As the jobs start to come back, as the travel, the industries that have been impacted the most, as travel, leisure, hospitality uh, and entertainment start to come back, the Senate Majority Leader is going to be like, nah, you're not going to get $1.9 trillion. So a lot is going to be said about this. A lot is going to be written about this, about House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's decision to say no to $1.9 trillion. We can say goodbye to that. Uh, obviously, U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin is no longer in the picture. But now the political dynamic has changed. Uh, the economy is gradually starting to bounce back. I'm actually starting to see more and more uh, more and more businesses become more and more active. And with the news of the vaccine today, uh, we can start to see a bounce back, if you will. So what does all of this mean to stimulus? This means that the probability of a stimulus does exist, but a large stimulus is not going to happen. Will we see an extension of the unemployment booster? At this point, it doesn't seem very likely, but I'll keep you posted. My goal is to give you the true news, the honest news, and I'll always tell you exactly what's going on. There are The, the sands have shifted politically. The sands have also shifted from a, from a stimulus standpoint. I'll be giving you the actual news as we go along. Uh, please make sure to click like, to click subscribe, to enable notifications so you get instant updates from our channel going forward. And uh, again, you know, I'm starting to see things uh, come back. As far as uh, this vaccine is concerned, um, you know, they've, uh, Pfizer has done some extensive trials. This isn't about, you know, me trying to convince you folks to take the vaccine. This isn't about that. It doesn't matter to me whether you take the vaccine or not. What matters to me is consumer confidence. What matters to me is the economy getting back on track. What matters to me is that individuals who need help the most getting it. Um, this is going to boost confidence. However, however, we still have a long road ahead of us because it's going to be a few months before this becomes, before this is distributed wise, uh, widely, before there's a lot of confidence about using it. 
before you know before it it uh, you know it it provides some level of protection this is the first step in a long way back and you know um as far as uh, as far as you know i've had a lot of questions and comments uh you know from our viewers and subscribers asking if i would take the vaccine my position is if the scientists support it if dr fauci supports it uh then i would take it it's as simple as that that's my decision you know you you feel free to make your decision this is not about whether you take the vaccine or not this is about again consumer confidence if this is going to make consumers more confident about going out to eat if this is going to make me feel confident to you know go back and eat sushi again or you know just just to you know travel get in a plane if it if it makes us start to feel that way i think it's going to start to shift the dynamics and it'll it'll start to bring us back to where we were um is it is it too soon to say whether we'll get there probably not i think the first huge step has already been taken but two things have changed in the past few days one politically the the entire dynamic has shifted and the stimulus dynamic has also shifted because the majority leader Mitch McConnell is now involved in the negotiations with house speaker Nancy Pelosi and number 2 this is the big one now with the with the news about the vaccine the stock market has surged uh, a lot of stocks are up 10 15 20% especially stocks like visa mastercard you know stocks that had anything to do with infrastructure stocks that had to do with real estate they're all booming because now people expect to be able to get back to normal and i do expect that uh, there'll be a worldwide sort of production of this vaccine because keep in mind pfizer can work with other companies to mass produce the vaccine which can then be distributed all over the world this is the first step in in a in a long way back i would encourage my viewers and subscribers to to try and uh you know uh, hopefully hopefully uh you know hopefully you get your jobs back i'm with you uh, as far as any stimulus news is concerned i'll be providing you that information as well but it does look like uh, this is the first step in a long way back and my only advice to you would be to just you know take a deep breath next year in my opinion will be much much better uh, i already talked about the vaccine i talked about the fact that there will be i think there's going to be a lean lean stimulus package it is a priority because uh, president elect joe biden has said that it is a priority for him so i think it's time to move forward it's time to move on it's time to embrace what is most likely to be a smaller leaner stimulus package whether you take the vaccine or not this isn't about that so you know if you it doesn't matter whether you take the vaccine or not what matters is it boosts consumer confidence uh, which is already being reflected in the stock market so that's where things stand everybody again this is dr nitin choda decided to make an impromptu video for you guys i had no plans actually uh to make this video but i decided that i had to talk to my community and uh, i i stepped out like i said to grab some uh, sushi uh for myself because the sushi place that i love is uh, actually is actually closed right now and so i have to go to stop and shop in order to be able to pick up some sushi my name is dr nitin choda with ignition 10 thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you um if you learn something new from this video please click the like button please subscribe please enable notifications uh, our goal at ignition time is to give you real news is to give you honest news and to help you get to the next level thank you so much i'll talk to you soon bye so i'm in the chips aisle the chips are my weakness but i'm not going to buy any chips and let's see what we have some avocados couscous uh, there's this uh, creamer which is like this uh, hazelnut creamer which is actually pretty awesome and some coffee a wrap for my mom and that's it check it out guys the sushi looks really cool check it out what do you think i should get the crunchy shrimp roll now that looks good that's my lunch <laughs>